right, everybody, welcome to Blissology On Demand with me, Ian Finn, and this routine is what we call super flow like water. Flow like water, says Bruce Lee, we're gonna super flow like water. So you might wanna check out the Uluwatu flow tutorial um, before you do this one. Otherwise, we'll just do it in the flow and you will get it. I love this routine. I'll see you on your mat and we will have a beautiful fluid practice. When our minds are in a state of flow, our bodies will be in a state of flow with fluid movements and the fluid movements will help our mind in flow also. We call it flow state fitness. Okay, so let's meet in downward dog. Spread your fingertips out like you're palming two basketballs. Bend your knees. Send your tailbone back and lengthen out through the spine. Now get your beautiful diaphragm working. Breathe in and lengthen your spine. Breathe out and send your hips back further. Spread your toes. Breathe in, lengthen. And breathe all tightness out. Do one more long breath in. And one more deep exhalation out. Lift your right leg up high, upwards towards the sky. And step your right foot deeply forward to the outside of the right hand. Slowly reach your, left, or your right arm upwards towards the sky. Now press your hips towards the right. And I wanted to just show you a pose that we're going to do later in the practice called a barrel lunge. We'll do it a couple of times. So my right foot's kind of aiming a little bit towards the right. I'm opening up. I'm engaging the left thigh. My head's going back, and I'm just breathing in like the smell of something amazing. Like I smelled garlic bread the other day, just breathing in garlic bread. It feels so good. Mm, I love that smell. Take a breath in, and your hand comes down to the floor. And we'll step back into a downward dog. Now, come into a plank position. Lower down into a chaturanga. Turn your toes towards the right. Circle your right arm up. And then back and down, downward dog. Inhale, ripple into a plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Left arm circles back and then up. And then swim your left hand forward, downward dog. Ripple into a plank. Lower down, ready, circle your right arm back, make it super fluid. Front crawl, swim your right hand forward, press back, downward dog. Ripple into a plank, the chin comes up last. Lower down, breathe out. Turn your toes towards the left, reach up. And then swim your left hand forward, breathe out, downward dog, breathe in. And breathe out, left leg up high. Step your left foot. So I want you to find what my friend Servas calls the emotion of the motion. Turn your left foot out. Your right hand is supporting you and your head doesn't go forward, it goes off to the right. And I want you just to embody gratitude, like feel what you're grateful for. Drink in the morning or evening light. One more breath. And then the hands come to the floor, step back. Downward dog, breathe in, and the hips press back, and we simply breathe out. Now lift your right leg up high, upwards towards the sky, open your toes, step the right foot forward between the hands. Now reach your arms up, press your hips forward, drop your left knee down, and you're trying to lift up the pubic bone, so you get lots of stretch in your left quadricep muscle, open up. And then bring your hands over your heart and breathe out. Inhale, bend your left leg, arch back, make a sound go as you come to standing. Do one more, inhale, it's an eccentric contraction stretch to the left thigh. Now I want you to turn your belly towards the left warrior two and make X-Men hands. Now make a reverse warrior, breathe in. And then come into a triangle pose. We'll take about two breaths in this triangle. The left hand, bring it up over the head. Okay. Reverse your warrior. Come on up. Now press your hands towards the front. Left heel up. Go. And make an out breath. Now, inhale. Left knee comes down again. Arch back. Exhale. Pyramid pose. 
Stretch it out. Stay in pyramid. Breathe in. Reach through your crown. Press the right hip back and breathe out. Rock around a little bit if you need to. Hands go forward if you need more stretch. Again, it's early in practice, so don't shock your body. Breath in. Breath out. One more. Get the breath to the underside of the leg. And breathe it out. Right leg up high, one leg dog. Lower down, push up. Up and over the toes, stretching open that front body. Beautiful. And then press on back, downward dog. Okay, so next side, same simple warm up, left leg up. Step your left foot. The arms sweep up like they're painting the wall in front of you. Your right knee hovers an inch from the floor. And then we come into standing, go. Inhale, right knee down, arch back, open up. Exhale. Now here comes a new pattern. Reach up, arch back, make X-Men hands, breathe out, go. Yes. Reverse your warrior, open up. We'll slow this one down, take one more breath. Triangle pose, take two breaths. Next time we'll do it one breath, one movement. So the left hip's going back, the right hand's reaching. Reverse your warrior. Get the pattern. Epic. Turn towards the front, press out. Now the hands sweep up, the right knee comes down. That's a wind up to come forward into pyramid pose. We'll take about four breaths. Breathe into what's tight. Let that tightness out through an open mouth. Breathe in again. And breathe on out. Let the back ribs move like a buoy in the ocean. Empty your breath. Left leg up high. Lower down. Up over the toes. Breathe in. Glide back, downward dog. Okay, so we're doing that one breath, one movement. Right leg up. Breathe in. Step your right foot. Breathe out. Inhale. Left knee comes down. Arch back. Exhale, warrior two, breathe out. Reverse, breathe in. Triangle pose, right hand down, left hand over the head, breathe out. Inhale, reverse. Now clear stuckness out of your heart, press your hands forward, stick your tongue, go. <sighs> Inhale, bend your left leg, arch back, open. Exhale, straighten your right leg and stretch, breathe out. Right leg high, lower down. Chaturanga, up and over the toes, big breath in, glide back, downward dog, in fluid bodies, fluid minds, left leg up, go ahead and step it, right knee hovers, arch back, soft hands, warrior two, breathe out, reverse, big breath in, one exhalation only, left hand down, right hand over the head, move the pelvis, arch back, big old breath, press forward, Breathe out. Inhale, sweep the hands up, arch. Exhale, straight left leg, breathe out, stretch. Left leg up high. Lower down with control. Up and over the toes, big breath in. And glide back from here, downward dog. Breathe in. And breathe out, let it go. Now come to the top of the mat, lengthen through your spine, breathe in. And Uttanasana, come into this amazing stretch, all breath out. Lengthen the spine, so like a telescope, like a pirate telescope, you want to elongate through the crown. Now from your hip joints, really come up and over. Keep that back long. Breathe into it. Knees can be bent. Breathe out. Inhale in, exhale it out. Now reach your arms up, take three breaths and we're gonna arch back. Lift open through your chest, lean forward onto your toes. And then as you breathe out, hands come back to standing, amazing. Now inhale, reach up, take a big back arch. If it's okay for your spine, Step your left foot back as you breathe out. Now, reverse warrior. Uluwatu flow. I know I got my back to you, we're gonna get this. 
Okay, we'll slow it down. Sink your hips. You're trying to stretch open the right thigh, knee pressing out, left thigh pulls back. Now, slowly circle that right hand down. Bend your left knee, let your right toes lift up and your left arm's lifting. If you have a sore knee, stay up higher. Or if you just don't have the range of motion, no drama. Now, this is a really funky transition, but it feels good. We're going to turn to the back. I spin on my heels and reach my left arm back, open up. Lay it back, we'll slow it down. We warmed up with this one. Now bring that left hand over the body, toes point forward. Stay long through the spine and fold into pyramid. There's a nice long stride here, which gets the left leg open. Now, left leg up, lower down into Chaturanga. You're facing the back, the left leg is up. Step your left foot. Now we repeat, reverse warrior, come on up. Slowly, bring your right, uh, bend your right leg, bring your left elbow down, right arm up. Now turn, open up to the right, lean your head back. Swim your right hand forward, straighten your right leg and stretch. Take one more breath in. Next time we do one breath, one movement, pull the right hip back, stretch it out. Ready? Right leg up high, breathe in. Lower down, chaturanga. Right leg up, step your right foot. Four movements with the breath. Inhale, reverse your warrior. We call this Mukatasana, your left knee bends, right elbow comes to the floor, left arm up. Inhale to what we call lay back lunge, turn, open up. Exhale, left hand to the floor, pyramid and stretch. Left leg up high, get in the flow. Lower down, flow state fitness. Left leg up, step your left foot, reverse your warrior. Left elbow down, right arm comes up. Spin now to the front, turn your toes right. Spin your foot forward, pyramid stretch, breathe out. Right leg up high, lower down, chaturanga, listen. Right leg stays up. Now next sequence is for your outer right IT band. Look where your left hand is. Take your right foot to where your left hand was. Okay, so my right, hand's, right foot's in line with my right shoulder. My right foot's turned hard towards the right. I'm on the little toe only of the right foot. My sole of the foot's not down. I'm pressing my right hip back, I'm up high. We call this IT love and blissology. Now, breathe in, so you're trying to stretch your right hip. Breathe out and send your right hip back and reach forward through your left hand. If it's too much stretch, you stay up high here. But if you want more stretch, you simply decrease the angle between the pelvis and the thigh. And you gotta really stay active with this right foot. Keep pulling your right hip back and you reach your right arm up like for a revolved triangle. So two more breaths, breathe in. You can still do this in standing. Breathe out. One more breath in. Oh my God, it feels so good. Hands to the floor. Now your left knee will land to the little toe of the right foot for Ardha Mati and Dhrasana. When you come down, let your hips go to the left. The right knee will want to point right, but roll it in. Okay, cradle. Lift your right hip up and pull it back. Now you can bring your elbow around and make it a breathing exercise. Breathe in to get long. Breathe tightness out of right hip. Lengthen your neck. Lean forward, not back. Breathe in. Breathe out. If you can't breathe like that, you've gone too far. Do one more time. And then come on back. All right, in our flow state fitness way, we just want to get a little bit of tone in our abdominals, boat pose. Lift your legs up, press out through your toes. Balance and breathe. Now see if you can bring your heels down, circle out and around, and back down. Inhale up. Exhale down, lean back. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Now come back up to boat, you've got this. You've got it, you've got it. I know you can do it, breathe. Cross your legs. 